were going to do a sequel to First Class. And the cr creative mindset was that we didn't want to just do a sequel because it, would, it was just sort of the further adventures. We have, I've always wanted to do Days of Future Past, and we've talked about it a lot. So we thought, okay, this is perfect. This way we could galvanize, you know, instead of mutant versus mutant, it's a war for the species through time, and we could bring in the old cast and the new cast. Also, we wanted to center this time on Charles Xavier, and, and so this is Charles... If you, you see Charles and Eric in first class meet each other, become friends, and then become frenemies. When we s then we go into the future and see their friends, we now go into the past and see them widely apart. With this movie, you get to greatly alter what we've already sort of seen happen in those first three movies. Is there any chance that we're going to get another movie down the line with that original cast again? It's always possible. It's always, always possible. possible, right. Do you worry at all about fatigue? As the universe expands, as you do more of them, is there a worry that eventually it sort of has to slow down? Absolutely. Um, so my personal mandate is every time we do one of these movies, try a different genre. First Class was kind of a, a Bond movie. Um, Jim Mangold, um, Hutch and I both produced The Wolverine, and Jim gave it a very noir, film noir, mm -hmm tone. Um, this this version what goes back to the classic, to one and two, but I think if we go out every time and we treat it differently so that every time you're sitting in it's a brand new movie, hopefully we won't get fatigued, hopefully. I also think there's, you know, the thing that distinguishes X-Men to me is, is the depth and power of the characters and their circumstances, and that as long as the stories are, are truly surfacing those kind of dilemmas, they, they, there isn't fatigue. It's the fatigue comes, I think, when when we fail to make a compelling emotional story, fail to tell a story that really engages the audience, um, and then you're left with spectacle without without that which you care about. And and Lauren, really, it's under her stewardship. But I think, you know, that's what's made the X Men characters so indelible. It's what made the comics so strong, and it's it's what I think is most powerful and compelling in the, in the films. Yeah, I know you have Apocalypse, right, in 2016. Mm -hmm. What else are you guys looking at beyond that? Uh, solo efforts, uh, <clears throat> more X-Men films, where are we headed? Uh, definitely some solo efforts. Um, I hope to see us do Gambit. Um, Deadpool will eventually punch his way to the screen, I think. Yes, we'll do some solo <laughs> efforts. That was going to be my answer, <laughs> yes. <laughs> For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.